how to bear the unbearable loss of a daughter. Holly was bright, she was bubbly, she had a massive smile and people say that when she went into a room, she lit the room up. Holly Gazard was just 19. From the very beginning of her relationship with Asha Maslin, her family had misgivings. He'd turn up drunk to a family meal, put her down in front of them, but they had no idea of the extent of his control. Holly never had a bruise on her, you know, so it was generally the financial and emotional abuse for Holly. I remember Holly waking up to, I think it was 60 missed calls she had once. We tried to protect her as much as we could, but with Holly, if you did too much of that, we would have pushed her away. The control escalated. When she finally tried to break it off, Maslin stabbed her 14 times in the salon where she worked. The warning signs of endless control and mind games had all been there. A damning report into the police handling of the case was a wake-up call. Now, a change in the law allows the police to act against psychological abuse before it turns violent. Women's Aid campaigned really hard for this law because women who'd experienced domestic abuse were telling us that they couldn't come forward and report it until they'd experienced physical violence and also police officers were saying that they simply didn't have enough tools in their toolbox to deal with the reality of domestic abuse because you have to remember coercive control isn't a type of domestic abuse it is the dark heart of domestic abuse the new law against coercive control carries a possible sentence of five years. Critics say it may prove impossible to gather hard enough evidence to prosecute. It is going to be very difficult to evidence these behaviours to the criminal standard required. And there is a risk that crimes relating to domestic violence will be further downgraded and prosecuted as coercive control because they carry a lesser sentence. For Holly's family, of course, it has come too late, but they're now devoting themselves to helping others who may feel similarly trapped and helpless. Look out for the signs, and if you want to seek professional advice, go to one of the support services that are in every county, but don't ignore it. Take them under your wing, because ultimately, at the end of the day, you need to keep them safe.